there is something that's in this that I've never seen before, I've never heard of, but I, I love it because it sounds so, so incredibly silly. But I'm gonna point it out to you, but you can't say it. <laughs> Shut up! Welcome to Tavern on Tap. I'm the Nerve, this is Eli, and Eli told me something very silly before we clicked on it. So that's why this is a very professional episode. Yep, we're starting off the right way. <laughs> so Courtney and I went to Ireland uh, to go meet up with Matt the Whiskey Nerd, shout out to them. And he's always talked about uh, this spirit, which is, uh, I want to say Putin, but it's not. It is not that. Yeah, like, uh, I don't, I'm Putin, not really sure Putin, how to pronounce Putin. it. It's P-O-I-T-I -I with an apostrophe N. Putin, it's I think probably it is. like Poitin or something Poitin, like that. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, I've always seen it on his channel and it always made me want some. He took me to a really cool cocktail bar. Where we drank cocktails that were made out of this. Ooh. And they even gave you like a little sample of cocktail to be like, hey, don't freak out. <laughs> to make sure that you liked it. Yeah, and it was really awesome. A 10 out of 10 would go again. Uh, so we bought this. We bought it in the airport. Uh, and so now it's here. I haven't tried this brand. And I'm really excited about diving in. So what is it? So the best way he described it was it's kind of like... This is what Ireland's would be to our moonshine, or like what commercial moonshine is. Okay. So it's an unaged, um, so it's like they make it like whiskey, but they don't age it. So, yeah, that's what he kind of described it. All right. As. So this is, uh. Oh, wait, we don't talk about the brand. So it's, <laughs> it's pronounced Mickle. Well, it's M, it's, it's M-I-C-I-L, but it actually... Which I think is really nice is it gives you the pronunciation <laughs> next to it. So, McIll. <laughs> McIll. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say any of it because I'm going to butcher it. Um, he only wants me to look like the fool. <laughs> yeah. But the important part of this, and I showed this to, 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 to Richard beforehand. So, every bottle is carefully handcrafted in our family distillery in Galloway in the time honored tradition using 100% Irish malted barley and a local Conmara botanical. Known as Bog Bean. B O G B E A N. This is made bog with bean. Bog Bean. It sounds like an insult that kids would throw at each other. Yeah, but it but it, 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 it sounds really good. Look, from its initial hint of spice, honey, and lightly toasted malt mm. through to its smooth, velvety finish. This sounds really good. And then it's a uh, there's a cheers, there's like a toast. Here. Oh, and this yeah. is, but it's written in Gaelic, so I'm not gonna pronounce it. But it's too good health. It's S L A with an apostrophe I N T E M H A I T H. If you can pronounce that, please tell us how to do it. And, and it's then, distilled in Galloway, Ireland. Yes, which we visited by this person, who yeah. whose name I will not butcher on screen. All right, so let's open it. Let's open. It. See, look, I even saved this. Yeah, I know. We went to Ireland a while ago. I waited until you were done LARPing. And I appreciate you not bringing me. Ooh. I would hate to go to Ireland and see the lovely, lovely world that is Ireland. Uh, you oh, just see clear. me panically driving. Uh, yes, it is clear because it is unaged. I just didn't expect it to be oh, like. It smells really good. <laughs> the room now smells good. <laughs> Ooh. Now I have a little bit of sinus congestion, so <laughs> forgive me for that. But what? Yes. All right, let's get some smells. It is super clear and really. Wow. It does kind of remind me of, like, White Dog, where I worked at Sazerac House. Um, I guess I can say this now, because I, I, I have no risk of getting fired No anymore. NDAs. No NDAs. Uh, but we used to drink White Dog uh, in, sometimes in between tours, and that's what the smell kind of reminds me of. Uh, he used to, like, give a little ladle and, like, pour it into cups. And then Nothing they... <laughs> like a ladle of White Dog to really, really kind of get your day going. Hey, when you have to talk to 500 people a day, a little bit of white dog. Look, I work in customer service, all right? I get it. <laughs> but this is what it kind of reminds me of. Mm. I'm not really nice. sure what this reminds me of. It's got a pretty unique smell. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely kind of, you can definitely smell like the grains. Yeah. You know, like this is definitely a grain. It has no legs. No, it is, uh, it is dripping down real quick. All right. All right, let's go in. Cheers. Oh, yeah, let's go. Ooh. Wow. That is really nice. Ooh, yeah. I got that a lot of that honey. Boy, it shows up on the back end. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's... Wow. Now it's kind of warming me up a little bit. That's really good. <laughs> that is... I can't... 
Okay, riddle, riddle me this. Why can't American fake moonshine be this good? Uh, because, I don't know, because it's cheaper to make the other stuff and people wow. buy it. <laughs> wow. Support this. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I love, like, all those, like, silly moonshine brands with, like, the special flavors that come in a little mason jar and it's just pure sugar. I love it. But this is actually good. I would like a U.S. like style of it, like yeah, make kind of like close to a bourbony like from that would be kind of cool, mm -hmm. or like a rye, oh, like a rye in this kind of style that would be interesting. This is great. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm glad I purchased this. But you know what else everybody enjoys after they purchase? Merch. Look at this cool sweatshirt. Yeah, it's actually cool cold in yeah. New Orleans. Yeah, it's, it's cool and rainy, so you uh, can actually like wear. Uh, wear stuff like this yes and if you want to stay up to date on all the things you can wear and drink you know what you gotta do right like comment and subscribe and ring the little bell also we will do the 500 challenge my cat recently had to have surgery uh, so that kind of put a damper in buying an expensive bottle yes yes <laughs> so and i've also had to do some costly repairs to my new house which has also put a damper on that yes so i think we'll shoot for january Probably for December. the five, just or you think end of December maybe? Yeah. All right, end of December. Yeah. You know, yeah. a good way to end, kick you know end yeah. the year, kick the new year off, one or the other. Mm -hmm. We do have to do our yearly eggnog one. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> and don't forget the tavern is always open. Cheers. <laughs>